हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरीन इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस योर नाइटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट द ई पी एल रिक्वायरमेंट वाट आर द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ ई पी एल वेन द ई पी एल वाट आर द कंटेंट ऑफ ऑनवर्ड मैनेजमेंट मैनुअल एंड इन विच केस द इंजिन पावर लिमिटेशन विल बी रिलीज एंड वॉट इज द प्रोसीजर ऑफ रिलीजिंग द ई पी एल एंड आफ्टर रिलीजिंग वॉट यू शुड डू the exi like energy saving device dead weight increasing okay other method we also see so this is the second part of the engine power limitation in the first part we have discussed about the shaft power limitation and the engine power limitation how it works now we are going to get advanced level that what are the requirement of the epl so this is as you can see in the screen this is the shaft power limitation this is a torque rpm sensor this is the shaft Sapoli cabinet and this is a control center which is sending signal to the field pump. So basically, this shaft power limitation and the EPL, basically what they are doing, they are limiting the amount of fuel going to the engine. So the available power is limited by locking the fuel index in the engine power limitation. So as the engine is locked. the fuel index is locked it should not be tempered it should not be tempered by anybody unless the situation arises such that it need to be tempered so the epl cannot be released without permission from the ship master or the officer in charge of of a navigation watch it means that if you want to increase the rpm above the epl limit in that case you need to take permission from the ship master and or officer in charge of a watch and if epl is unlimited due to the purpose of securing the safety of ship or saving life at sea the reason and relevant information is to be recorded in onward management manual so one thing you should understand that whenever you are using shaft power limitation or epl as a method for improving the exi you are have to maintain the record in a book which is called onward management manual in this onward manual manual you will record that when the epl was locked and when it was lost un unlocked and what is the reason and the what are the information for which reason it was done so basically as you can see this epl is a tamper proof arrangement and it is accompanied by a onward management manual so in the examination they will ask you what is a onward management manual so you should say that it is a recording of a EPL basically onboard man manual is a type of book in which we record the incident of the EPL that when it was unlocked when it was locked what are the reason what are the information that all thing are provided and how it to be operated how it it can be locked again all things are mentioned in the onboard management manual okay so what is the content of OMM in onboard management manual it consists of a original MP, MCR means for what origin mcr the engine was made what is the engine mcr after the epl mcr limitation what is the technical description of the epl what are the sealing method is a mechanical method or it is electronic control method locking and monitoring method for electronic control engine procedure and method for reducing the epl time for unlimiting the epl procedure for survey by administration and these all thing are mentioned in the onboard management manual so as you can see in the onboard management manual we are mentioning what we know that what is the original mcr what is the epl mcr which method we are using for mechanical control engine for old type of engine we are using sealing method and for electronic control engine we are using locking and monitoring method these two method i have explained in my earlier video if you want you i will keep in the description box you can watch about the epl and sapoli detail version after that what is the procedure and method for reading the ipl and the time required for unlimiting the ipl this is the content of onboard management manual okay so as you know that we are releasing this epl is released engine power limitation the fuel index limiter is released from time to time what are the reason in which condition we can release so we can release if there there is a adverse weather condition such as ice infested water in that case we will we can release the epl and we can mention in the omm or we are 
taking the participation in search and rescue operation or we are avoiding any pirates or we are carrying out any engine maintenance like removing suits so in this condition we can unlock the IPL and while unlocking we have to mention the amount of time in which we have unlocked what are the what are the latitude longitude why it was unlocked and same need to be informed to the class okay so now what are the necessary procedure in case where EPL is unlimited so recording the status in the onboard manual, manual okay after that we have to notify the administration we have to again reactivate me again we have to after the unlimiting of EPL is finished after the requirement is finished like uh, if we have done for a avoidance of pirates so after we have crossed a pirate area we have to again lock the EPL by this method so we have to again reactivate it okay after the risk is prevented and then confirming the same to the administration so as you can see that we are informing the administration means we need to notify the in administration we, the administration need not to be present every time the e, epl is reactivated so as you can see therefore the epl method is so widely pursued because only notifying the administration that when we are unlimiting when you are limiting so that they can and same record to maintain based on that only it is certified by the administration okay so as you can see this is the graph of a engine power and speed graph so suppose normally we know that exi formula is conversion factor into sfoc into engine power into capacity into c speed but if we consider for epl then engine power should be 83 percent of the mcr limitation and safe speed should be also in 83 percent of the mcr limitation but in normal case it is 75 percent of the mcr and safe speed also 75 percent of the mcr so suppose this is a graph and this is the main engine in normal scenario 75% of the MCR so at that time the speed was 14.5 knot so in 75% MCR the engine speed was 14.5 knot so if we now the MCR limitation after the MCR limited the EPL the it is coming to the 65% of the MCR means the now MCR so earlier MCR was 100% so we were taking 75% of the MCR for the calculation earlier but now after the EPL the new MCR the new MCR is shift from 100 to 65 shift from 100 to 65 so a new MCR is MCR limitation is 65% of the actual MCR so the new MCR limitation is this so now we have to take 83% of the MCR limitation so 83 percent of this so it is coming around 54 percent of the mcr so one more time i will repeat now you can see in normal case if 100 percent is the mcr so we were taking 75 percent of the mcr for power calculation and v reference but now after the epl this 100 percent mcr is becoming this thing now new mcr is this one instead of this this is the new mcr in the engine power limitation which is the actual 65 percent of the earlier mcr now we have to take in the epl 83 percent of the mcr new mcr so 83 percent of this will be this one so if we go in here we can see in normal case in 75 percent of ncr the speed was 14.5 percent speed was 14.5 but the power decrease was 15 percent okay so you can see here that if we are taking this value if we are taking this value so what we are achieving we are achieving 41 percent in the power reduction speed is reducing to minus 16 and 12.1 is the not speed and improvement is 30 percent if we are doing 65 percent of mcr which is the now new mcr limitation so we are decreasing the power by 28 percent the speed is dropped by 11 percent means earlier in 75 percent it was 14.5 now it is 13.5 so the significant drop is not there and the improvement in the overall exi is 20 percent so as you can see by epl by epl what is happening as you know 
पावर इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्सनल टू स्पीड क्यूब एंड स्पीड इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्सनल वन बाई थ्री सो एज यू कैन सी हेयर स्मॉल कंपेंसेशन इन द पावर वी आर नॉट लूजिंग दैट मच ऑफ स्पीड मीन्स वेन द पावर इज रिड्यूस टू मच द स्पीड इज नॉट रिड्यूस दैट इट दैट मच दे आर फॉर द ओवरऑल ई एक्स आई इज गेटिंग रिड्यूस वंस मोर आई विल रिपीट वी आर रिड्यूसिंग पावर बाई ए लार्ज परसेंटेज कंपेयर टू दैट द स्पीड इज नॉट दैट मच रिड्यूस यू कैन सी फ्रॉम एट्टी फाइव फोर परसेंट एम सी आर फिफ्टी थ्री परसेंट एम सी आर द स्पीड इज ड्रॉपिंग फ्रॉम फोर्टीन पॉइंट वन टू ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन ओके सो यू कैन सी दैट फोर्टीन पॉइंट वन टू ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन सो दैट मच ड्रॉप इज नॉट देयर एंड हेंस द ओवरऑल ई एक्स इज गेटिंग इम्प्रूवड सो द ई पी एल इज अ मोस्ट इफेक्टिव मेजर एंड कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव मेजर इन विच वी आर यूजिंग फॉर ऑल द एग्जिस्टिंग सेप सो नाउ इफ एनी बडी आस्क यू वाई वी आर यूजिंग ई एक्स आई इम्प्रूवमेंट ई पी एल मेथड सो यू शूड से द ई पी एल इज द मोस्ट कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव मेजर इन ऑर्डर टू इम्प्रूव द अटेन ई एक्स आई इट डज नॉट रिक्वायर एनी टाइप ऑफ इम्प्रूवमेंट इट ओनली रिक्वायर स्पीड रिजेक्शन इट डज नॉट रिक्वायर दैट मच ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंटेड प्रोसेस एंड ओनली रिक्वायर सिंपल लॉकिंग ऑफ द फ्यूल इंडेक्स लिमिटेड ओके नाउ वी मूव टू द सेकेंड वे ऑफ इम्प्रूविंग द ई एक्स आई विच इज द एनर्जी सेविंग डिवाइस इफ वी इंस्टॉल एन एनर्जी सेविंग डिवाइस इट विल एफेक्ट द सिप स्पीड मीन्स द सिप स्पीड विल अल्टीमेटली गेट इंक्रीज एंड हेंस द ओवरऑल ई एक्स आई विल गेट इम्प्रूव सो एज यू कैन सी हेयर If we use energy saving device, then there will be reduction of five percent of power, but and there will only a marginal increase in the speed of fourteen point seven four. So, if we install an energy saving device along with the EPL, then there will be a good saving of the energy and good consequence we can see. So, only energy saving device installation is not that much effective method for controlling the EXI, but if it is then along with the epl then is a very effective method so normally it it require basically ehd reflect only sip speed on esi calculation and improve only by 1 to 3% it is more effective if installed with the along with the epl okay now the third method is by increasing the dead weight so how we are deciding that what factor is improving so basically you can see conversion factor sfoc engine power these so these all five factor basically affect the exi so one by one we have seen how we are changing it so in epl we are we are affecting both these two factor engine power and speed in epl in energy saving device we are affecting only engine power and shift speed we are reducing the engine power but not that much but we are reflecting the increase in engine speed which is marginal but in dead weight we are increasing the overall dead weight of the ship and we are changing the speed based on that the overall exi is getting improved but increasing the dead weight is not a joke if we want to increase the dead weight it means that we have to add more weight we have to make the overall structure changes so that cost a lot so that is on paper it is very easy to say that we can increase the dead weight but physically this is not possible because it cost a lot and that much not effective okay so it is not a cost effective solution for improving the attain exi because increasing the dead weight is not a joke so if you can see here if the dead weight is increased by 5% if the dead weight is increased by 5% the actual gain of exi is only about 1.4% so as you can see if we increase the dead weight by 5% the only increase in exi is 1.4% so that was not effective so hence the most effective method for controlling the exi which is been used widely is epl but for examination purpose you should know that along with the epl there is sapoli after that energy saving device energy saving device is the device which basically help 
in order to increase the engine speed and does not use the engine as a power to harness but it is self generating and hence adding the adding the overall power of the engine means okay so like renewable source of energy okay wind powering device these are all the energy saving device okay then increasing the dead weight means we are making the structural changes so that we can increase the dead weight so that we can increase the denominator and hence improve the exi which is not a viable solution so friend in this video we have learned that how we can improve the exi by different method and how in which case the epl can be released and what procedure should we follow after it is released what is the om what is the content of onboard management manual why it is provided and what is the requirement of the epl and what is the sapoli so i hope you have learned a lot if you have watched it till this end i request to all of you please join the membership i guarantee you will gain a lot from that so friend 